we've all seen the big digital jump forward of the past couple of years. And because of that, there's a lot of doubt about the role of physical locations in a customer experience strategy. And you know, in this video, I want to talk about the, the kind of criteria you should take with you when you're trying to define how you can bring value to customers in an offline world. First part is, think about which digital aspects you can bring to the offline world. And I see two dimensions there that are really important. First of all, in the offline world, we want to have the level of convenience that we're used to in the digital world. So when people come to a store, we need to make sure that the checkout procedure and, and, and everything that is really not related to shopping becomes as efficient as possible because that's what we're used to. And the second thing that we need to you know, copy paste from the digital world is personalization. Uh, um, online, we have a lot of personalized content. Can we figure out a way how to bring that in stores with content that is being personalized with the way that they communicate with you that is being personalized. Those are two items from the digital world that you can bring to the physical world as well. But then the interesting part happens. Then it's about thinking what you can add that we don't have offline, that we don't have online. Uh, what can we add there? And there I'm looking for a couple of things. First of all, human kindness. Showing that you care about people, being nice to people, listening to what customers are saying and trying to help there. Um, that's also the moment when you bring in your personal expertise and, and the trick is, in my opinion, that you can act on the floor as some sort of a human filter. Uh, online we have digital filters. A human filter can add empathy to the equation because digitally, when we have a filter, the only thing they do is they look to our behavior of the past. Right? They look at what we've done in the past couple of months and they assume that in the future we're going to do the same things. That's how the digital filter works. A human filter adds empathy to the equation. And because of that, we look at the real-time feelings of people and we try to understand how they feel at this exact moment and what they need at this exact moment. And when you understand that real-time emotion, your level of advice, your expertise, can be really tailored to how people feel at that moment. And that is something that a machine cannot do. And I think that's what we need to bring to the physical world. And, and you know, when I, I've, I've, myself, I, I'm, I'm, I'm to blame as well. I've heard so many people say that if you want to create something in the offline world, it's all about creating an experience. But I've been thinking about this. I mean, what does that mean, an experience? It's, it's a very vague term. I think we need to combine the best of the online world and the offline world together. You bring in the convenience levels, you bring in personalization, but at the same time, you're a real-time empathic human filter, you bring in human kindness, and that is something that we cannot find online. And if you can combine both, I think you have a very strong proposition for your offline locations to win the heart and the business of your customers there. That's my opinion on this one. If you, if you like it, if you share the opinion, let me know, like the video. If you have other ideas, just let them know in the comments. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, and above all, I wanna thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Take care.